45 years of smoking have taken their toll on Harold Ridgway's health. At 76 years old, he is learning to live with COPD, an incurable disease found mostly in smokers. Symptoms are similar to bronchitis, and even though they usually worsen over time, Ridgway is actually starting to feel better. I probably feel a whole lot le younger than my 76 years old. That's because he was one of 14 patients who took part in a UAB research project to improve symptoms of COPD. We thought since we know that rehab and exercise improves um, functional ability of the patients and reduces readmission rates, let's take the uh, exercise program to the patient's houses and try and make a difference there. Doctors sent patients home with a smartphone. They used Skype to coach them through simple pulmonary exercises while monitoring their blood pressure, heart rate, and oxygen saturation. And how's your heart rate and oxygen level? 96. Oh, that is perfect. Very good. And they good. did this for one hour a day, three days a week, for three months. You can't quit like you could if you, got, if you were doing it on your own and got tired. They have to do this about two to three times a week. So for a majority of our patients, that's a huge time and financial constraint, which we can easily overcome by having them do this at home. Do you feel like you need to use an inhaler or anything right now? No, I don't. In general, about 20% of people with COPD are readmitted to a hospital within 30 days. But that wasn't the case for any of the 14 patients in the study who, like Ridgeway, Outstanding, okay. saw significant improvement in their symptoms. I'm Marty Salt reporting.